I was young and working with enthusiasm in the 50s and the 60s. The life of women changed in Europe due to some important facts. But before 1886, women had no rights at all. The first wave of emancipation started when two American ladies were refused entrance to the Court of Justice in London. As a result from this refusal, they concluded that an international council should be founded to emancipate women worldwide. And the International Council of Women was founded in Washington in 1886 by five countries, of which the USA, England, France and two other countries. New Zealand and women of Down Under also obtained the same rights throughout the British Empire. In Belgium, however, women got only voting rights in 1948. It was a way to recognize the women who fought during World War II. Women and men worked in separate workplaces. It was a time when women went in group to the toilet twice a day. Back in April 1944, the workplace got bombarded by accident by Americans. This happened during the visit of female laborers to the toilet. It saved their lives. Ever since 1954, women don't go to the toilet in group anymore. I worked at Hewart's photo production plant during the golden 60s. In Belgium, at the time, women had to leave the factory after marriage as they were supposed to start a family and stay at home, as in good Christian families. Women were also paid less in the same functions as men. I remember saying to my boss, as a personnel manager, which is today's human resources, good workers leaving the factory is a loss for the firm, as they have to be replaced by new ones who still need to learn the job. As a head of human resources, I also asked for equal pay for women and men for the same work they did. And my boss agreed. Since 1957, women got equal pay and equal rights at the factory. Hereby, I wish all human resource managers to keep fighting for equal rights and pay. Everyone involved in the professional context should take up this task.